Good morning, good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those who whose heart is loyal to him. Have you ever grown impatient and waiting on the Lord? So you decided to take matters in your own hands, only later to realize you messed everything up, then wish you had simply waited patiently for God to fix it. Asa, king of Judah, made a treaty with the king of Syria against the king of Israel. Then, Hanani the prophet came to King Asa and said, Because you have relied on the king of Syria and have not relied on the Lord your God, therefore the army of the king of Syria has escaped from your hand. Therefore, from now on, you shall have wars. Like Asa, oftentimes we start out good, sanctifying ourselves unto God, praying and depending on God to fight all our battles for us. Just when we're exceedingly blessed, prosperous, and everything is going well, we turn our backs on God as if we don't need the Lord anymore. Then when problems arise, we lean to our own understanding and figure we can handle them ourselves or run to nearby family or friends to help instead of turning to the Lord, the one from whom comes all our help. Let me warn and encourage you this morning to... No matter how long it takes for God to show up or to answer your prayer, do not throw away your confidence in God. If God did it before, he will do it again. If he brought you out before, he will bring you out again. If he fought your battle for you before, he will fight your battle again. If he delivered you before, he will deliver you again. If God saved you before, he will save you again. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. God's desire is to bless you exceedingly above all you can imagine and bring you out into a spacious place. He wants to rescue you because he delights in you. Thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.